Hey, what's up, fellas? How are we doing, man? Tonelli here. Uh, today, we're looking at Will Myers of the San Diego Padres. Um, we're going through a bunch of different hitters. Going to try to hit on one every couple of days here. Been getting a ton of requests, so um want to show different swings show kind of how each guy moves his body a little bit differently but there are a lot of common threads between all of them um i want to do will myers because he does a lot of things differently than most of the hitters that i watch at the major league level um you know at the time i shot this video he's hitting around 240 he's got 29 home runs and so you know he's hitting for a good amount of powers averages and super high strikes out decent amount of times he's got a hundred and you know, almost 180 strikeouts um and so let's kind of go through some of the things that he does you know i think the biggest thing that stands out to me are one the move that he makes forward so he makes this really really aggressive move into the ball um you know he might he, he uses a lot of his momentum and a lot of his body to really deliver and you know create a lot of bat speed um, and he's a big dude, so, you know, he's like, I think he's like 6'3", 6'4", um, you know, so he's really strong, he's able to hit the ball a long way, and he, you know, he really uses his body by really moving into the ball um, and using kind of his the momentum of his body to help create some of that bat speed. That's the, that's the first thing, you know, if you watch how much he moves, you know, if I put kind of a line here, and he moves completely past that line um, before he starts to turn and hit. So really, really big move. Again, keeps his head over his belly button between his between his feet, and he's moving his whole body out. And the other thing that he does is he gets a huge amount of um, length in his lead arm. I mean, his this move of moving into the ball and really pulling back right here. You know, with with the combination moving into the ball and creating this type of stretch, he's going to deliver, you know, a lot of bat speed into this ball. Um, you know, a little bit different than a lot of hitters I see, too. He's got, you know, he keeps his bat really, really flat. Almost looks like it's on his shoulder there. Picks it up a tad, but still really, really tight, really, really flat. Has it pointing over the catcher's head, you know, more towards the umpire. When he attacks the ball, for me, he attacks it a little bit more downhill. So he doesn't get in the zone super early. You know, he's kind of, he's really down on the ball until the last, very last second. It starts to work up through the ball, but it's it's later than most guys. And a lot of that is because he moves so far and he's kind of into his front leg a lot. You know, it's really hard at this point to get the bat working back this way. So he takes more of this path, um, but he does stay behind the ball. So like when he gets into this position, to kind of draw this through him. You know, if you kind of circle his head, it's not the best circle. Circle his head. You know, from there he is, once his foot gets into the ground, he does turn and not move forward anymore. So it's allowing his backside to kind of catch up after that huge move. But like I said, it makes it a little bit difficult to get the bat flat early. And so it's about right here he's able to get it on path, start to get it working through the ball. But definitely a lot more of a move that looks like it's down on the ball. Everything really looks down until boom, right there. The other thing that he does that looks really odd is, you know, you get a lot of pictures of this position right here, which... It looks like he hasn't, you know, turned his foot at all. And it, it's weird because it, it starts to pick up here. If you look at it from this point, it looks, you know, pretty similar to what a lot of hitters will look like. Um, but then as he kind of continues to go and he's getting through the ball, his leg comes back into this position and looks like he's going to injure himself somehow. Um, but it's kind of after the ball is, you know, off the bat. So... So again, does things different than some guys as far as such a big move. Um, and again, gets so far out there that maybe he's a little bit more steep early in the swing. 
but he kind of recovers out here. He does a good job, like I said, staying behind the ball. And, you know, you make a big move like this. You know, here's one thing we talk about with our guys. Like, you're going to see different types of strides and different lengths of strides. You're going to see some guys not stride very far at all. You're going to see some guys move, you know, really, really far. Um, and I try not to tell our guys how far to stride. Um, I do, you know, I don't want our guys jumping at the ball. And I especially don't want our guys jumping at the ball and letting their front side kind of lead everything. And so Myers makes a huge move here without a doubt, but he does keep his upper body. You know, he doesn't lead with his upper body, which I think allows him to not get in trouble. If he were to move it like this, but jump a little bit more with his upper body, I think he'd be in big trouble and, and would really struggle. But the fact that he stays, he's still able to stay behind the ball enough to turn helps him. Um, you know, would moving into the ball a little bit less aggressively help? I don't know. I think that, I think it does probably help him create bat speed. Does it hurt him as far as consistency is good? As consistency goes, consistency goes, you know, bat path goes, did he strike out a little bit more than he probably wants to? Did he hit for a little bit lower than average? Maybe. Um, but again, he's got really good power number. He's going to hit 30 home runs this year, pretty much. Um, which is obviously a really, really good year. It's not, you know, hitting 31 runs with the big leagues is pretty impressive. So um, let me know what else you guys see. If you notice anything that stands out to you, those are kind of the things that um, that stands out when I watch them. Um, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Uh, please comment in the section below. Um, share the video with all your friends. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Check out our Instagram page, Antonelli Baseball, our Twitter feed, Man Antonelli 9. We're posting videos all the time for you guys. Check out the description box below. I've got a bunch of books and training tools um, that we use with a lot of our guys that I, I think you guys will enjoy. Um, we also have a deal going on with Plate Crate. Click on the link, type in Antonelli into the coupon section, you get 50% off your first Plate Crate. Uh, check out our website, AntonelliBaseball.com, where you can find out how to work with our staff and our teams. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you again. I appreciate you watching, and we'll talk to you later.